think that it's very important for us to support each other throughout this community whether you're doing videography photography you're a painter or sculpture whatever you do you need to support each other because this is how we grow as a community i hope you guys are all doing well welcome back to the channel today's episode is going to be special and i know i say that all the time but it is special because i'm going to be talking to you guys about literature aka photography books i bought gear as well for my photography i think it's important for us to support each other no matter what medium of media are we are consuming today it's also very important for us let's say as a photographer to print your own work because there is better way to consume your photography other than a screen or through a computer it's better to print out your work because you can get to uh, analyze it differently uh, here I have a couple of books that I picked up in New York City by photographers that I like that I found on um, through my years on using Instagram or using YouTube or Twitter. I found them and I have fallen in love with each of their work. I haven't gone through all the books because I do take my time analyzing, reading through it. Let's start with Joe Greer. Joe Greer released this book, The, the Lay of the Land. Throughout this book, Joe shares his journey of how he got into photography, how he got through social media, how he was following the hype to where he is now, where he's at peace with, with his work and what he sees for himself. And this is a amazing book. He has done this and I believe in digital and especially in, in film. He has used film photography for this book and it's like amazing. The next book I got, <laughs> I got this book, the Leica um, Oscar Barnard Award. I got it from Photobill, which is a photography event that takes place in New York City in Brooklyn. I got in my goodie bag, I got this amazing book. It's by award-winning photographers that got nominated in 2001 by the Oscar Barnard. And it showcased a lot of work of photographers and I love seeing different type of um, medium of how people go about the business to capture their stories and in this book you get a selection of amazing photographers that uh, Leica awarded with their rewards. The next book is called Stops Along the Way by Evan Raff. He's a uh, Atlanta based photographer who work consists of cityscape, uh, street photography and travel travel now this book is very special to him because uh during the summer of 2021 2020 he was making uh stops around atlanta small little towns capturing the essence of the beauty of the little towns and he made stops along the way uh, as a way of capturing the story of all these little towns that he used to go to or travels that he has been doing throughout the year he does share some quotes in here that are means a lot to him and he's a great known photographer he also has a instagram account where he posts most of his work there he also shares the knowledge through youtube where that's how i met him i believe it was in 2016 2015 but throughout there his his work has developed to the next level the next book is on the sunny side of the street by william burbeek he's a belgian photographer that lives in the states he used to live in new york city now he moved to la where he does most of his photography but his book is just amazing of him exploring capturing the light the essence of how the light uh, reflects on, on certain subjects and the way he color grades or how, the way he selects the color palette for each each of the scenarios or scenes that he ex he's experiencing is just magnificent there's a gradient to his work to his color methods in each photo that he captures you know like there's a gradient for everything there's a lack of human uh, aspect to this but his subject selection is just admiring because it's a well balanced um, the way he selects his subject on, on this book it makes you think about like the perspective of how to digest the, the book or the images the next one I will say that this is one of my favorite street photographers um, her name is Paola she's a Puerto Rican uh, photographer based out of New York this is the thing with Paola I think that her work is just phenomenal and I could be biased right I like her work I like the way she she does her thing but something that you have to get um you have to know is that she worked a lot on color grading um her photos giving giving the photos mood tone and detail 
uh, you can see that on each each image that she she does she's known as a cinematic street photographer is because the way that she captures a moment and then processes the photos makes you feel that you're watching a movie basically some of the work that she captures whether she's capturing only hands or she capturing a reflection these are things that reflect on on every our everyday life and it's like it makes you think not only about the picture but about yourself and how you relate yourself to to the image and that's just she knocked it out of the park. So the last book that I'm gonna be showcasing you guys is called New Light New York by Rob McCarthy. He goes by R Wrong Rob on Instagram and on Twitter. His work is just phenomenal. This book is all about New York light. It might be a little bit dark here, might, but the, the way he showcased the lighting and highlights the city using the light and shadow is phenomenal. He takes you along, let's say the darkest days for New York City was, during the pandemic 2020 that he takes you through that moment and he gives you the darkness and then he gives you the light at the end of the the book he shares everything that's is just great with the city uh so i got these two lenses i needed the extra reach to capture some moments in in istanbul and that's why i picked up the lightweight but very cheap sigma 90 millimeter f 2.8 and it's still i'm still testing it i got the, i did get to shoot with it in new york uh some couple of portraits that i and maybe some street photography that i'm showcasing right now in the video it gives you the extra reach that i wanted uh, i didn't want to go for a 72 200 because that will be adding more bulk to the camera i wanted something light and precise because the biggest lens i have right now for the sl is a 24 70 and I, I feel like the 90 will be in addition to this um, to this focal length to, to 24 to 70 and so far so good uh, it's still in testing mode and the last lens I got was the end mount Voilander VM 21 millimeter f 1.4 I wanted a second manual lens for the SL because I already has a sumo look I'm gonna put it on on its paces in the city of uh, Sofia I think I'm going to be doing some uh, cityscape slash street photography, maybe, but not from close, but showing everything else in, in my field of view. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, and let me know what you thought about today's video. I think that it's very, very important for us to support each other throughout this community, whether you're doing videography, photography, you're a painter or sculpture, whatever you do, you need to support each other because this is how we grow as a community. If you're new to the channel, my name is Ramon Brito. I am a photographer who loves to talk about how I capture my moments using the gear that I use. I love to talk about it. I want to share that with you guys. And if you want to know more about me, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification for you. Like, like that, you could be notified for the next video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao. Hey. Ooh, we're recording, yeah? It's hot as a mother in this mother house. All right, let's go. Here we go. You